In this video, we'll look at setting up a joint corrective morph, or a JCM, as we like to call it. A joint corrective morph can be used for um, various uses, such as correcting a problem that is happening when a, a joint is bent, or maybe it is uh, something like you want to flex a muscle. So let's go ahead and see how you would do this. I'm going to bend the forearm to, well, let's just go to 100 degrees, negative 100. And with the arm there, I want to have the bicep flex here. So if I was going to make that morph, I would pose it and then go to the figure, change mesh resolution to base, and then export this out to whatever modeling package I'm using. So I'm going to do that right now, and then I'll be back. So I created a morph, I'm going to load it through Morph Loader Pro. Let's go ahead and launch this. And choose left arm flex as my morph. And accept. Now if I just left those default settings like that, the morph is going to come in incorrect because it had the arm bend going on in there. So you can see that is not correct. What you want to do Let's choose your morph, come in here, and go to reverse deformations, right click on it and say yes. And then when you hit accept, then you dial up your morph and you'll see that the arm bend is pulled out of it, but you still get the flex of the morph. And now we can return the resolution back from base up to high resolution. So you can see how good it looks. Now what we want to do is make it so that this bicep flex only applies when the forearm is bent. So how we do that is in the parameters pane, we are going to right click and go into edit mode. Then we're going to go to the forearm bone and then see the bend here has a value. And in edit mode we can right click on there and say ERC freeze. So pop up this dialog, it'll fill in the property that you're going to have as the controller. And that's the Y rotate of the forearm. And then this is the morph, the morph property that's going to apply, which is left arm flex. And let's go ahead and let these options apply. It's nice to restore the figure just in case something else is going on. So clear it out. So hit accept. And now I'm going to turn off edit mode because it's kind of a pain to work with while it's on. And then now as I bend the forearm, the morph applies. And when I don't, when I turn off the bend, then the morph doesn't apply. So that is how you can set up a joint corrective morph um, to follow a joint rotation. Now there may be times when you want this uh, bicep flex to only occur when a certain character is applied as well. And so let me show you how to do that. Um, there are two ways that you can do this simply. Um, first thing you need to do either way is select the male. And we can go either to the morph uh, that we created, which is what we'll do first. Uh, let me see here. I have my morph here. We we'll go into edit mode. And we right click on it and say show and property hierarchy. Okay. Now you'll see controllers it has the Y rotate. Y rotate of the left forearm. We need to put uh, a property in this multiply uh, channel there. So let's say we want it to only apply when Gianni 6 is active. Let's just drag this over here. And once it's dropped, see the morph went away. But as soon as I dial up Gianni, you also get that muscle flex. So that is the first way to set it up. All right. The other way is to come in here and right click on Gianni, and say show in property hierarchy, and look at its subcomponents. And, oh, wrong one. See how you have your MCMs and everything listed here under the multiply divide? We would go to our morph and drag it. Here, let me, let me turn off this more first. Alright. 
and see how the morph is on. Let's go and drop it on the multiply divide of him, and then now it turns it off. And then as we dial him up, then it applies the morph. So either way is a valid way of hooking it up. One nice thing about um, dra dragging them onto the FBM Gianni is that if you had a dozen or so joint corrective morphs that you wanted to set up all at once as only applying when Gianni is active, then you could have all of them showing right here in the parameters pane, and then just multiple select them, and then drag all of them at the same time and drop them onto that multiply. And that would take care of it really quick.